Annyeong Korea! Welcome back to my channel, Flower Takes on Korea. It's been a while since I made a video, uh, but for those of you that did watch my last video, you would have seen that I visited the Narrow Space Center, Korea's only space center down south, all the way in Jeollanam-do. And it was an amazing opportunity uh, that, I, that I had that was given to me by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Um, and because of that video, I ended up getting a lot of questions afterwards from um, subscribers and followers asking how I managed to get such an opportunity. Um, and so I thought it would be kind of interesting and fun to make a video about how you can as well enjoy such opportunities in Korea um, and not wait five years before you realize and find out about all these cool opportunities. So today I will be uh, sharing some information with you about free travel programs, about free TV programs, about radio and all these other amazing opportunities that foreigners actually have in South Korea. Like I said, it took me about five years in Korea before I was aware of all these opportunities. And I can guarantee you that there is at least one opportunity, one free opportunity that you can definitely make use of here during your time in Korea. Now, some of you might be thinking, oh, well, you have to have like a million subscribers on your YouTube channel, or you need to have like a couple of hundred thousand on your Instagram. Well, I am living proof that you really don't need to have like 100,000 or a million subscribers, although that will certainly help and definitely get you a lot of opportunities. Um, you by no means have to be a huge influencer in order to get these opportunities. Often companies and different brands are simply looking for a variety of people from different countries. So before I go into the details of all these different opportunities, I do want to say Build your social media presence because that definitely will make a difference. Like I said, you don't have to have millions of subscribers, but it will definitely help to have somewhat of a presence on social media. So number one, travel programs in Korea. These are by far my favorite opportunities to get as a foreigner. And I've managed to visit some of the most unique places in Korea. Thank you. Thanks to all these opportunities. I've done various travel programs. I've done rural travel Korea where I have seen some amazing farms and rural villages in Korea places I would never get to see had I um, you know wanted to travel there on my own I've managed to go to some of the most beautiful islands in Korea thanks to the travel the different travel um, programs that are available that promote islands in Korea I've managed to go to some of the most beautiful spas and wellness centers in Korea um, as a wellness ambassador so if you are into spas and wellness centers that is a program that you should definitely look into I even went all the way down south to this tiny island island um, as you can see in the picture over here um, to a famous salt island that is very famous and well known for their salt spa healing center and it was just phenomenal so yeah like I said if you're into spas and wellness I highly recommend that you apply for those travel programs as well next kind of opportunities you get are opportunities where they want foreigners to promote certain events and by far one of the fav my favorite opportunities that i've had in korea was promoting the pyeongchang olympics again like i said if you are from a certain country there's a high probability that they will ask you to promote a certain event or program um, because you maybe there are not a lot of foreigners from that country in korea okay opportunity number three yeah K-pop concerts. I've been to so many K-pop concerts in this country for free just because they wanted foreigners there to promote the event. Okay, opportunity number four, and this is a, something that I never ever thought I would have the opportunity to do, um, and it's now actually become quite a big passion for me, and that is radio. Korea also has a lot of radio stations where they actually hire foreigners to come and speak on radio whether it is giving their opinion or talking about travel. Um, yeah, there are many opportunities for you to actually be on radio. Opportunity number five. So besides just getting a lot of free opportunities where you don't need to pay to do certain things like traveling and K-pop concerts, you can also get paid as a foreigner here to make content. And again, this took me many years in Korea before I realized that I could actually get paid for all my hard work and content that I'm making. So again, if you love to make content, why not see 
uh, you know, what programs are out there where you can actually get paid because essentially when you're making your own content, you are promoting Korea or something about Korean culture. So yeah, there are a lot of companies out there these days that really are willing to pay foreigners to promote, uh, you know, certain brands or certain places on their personal SNS. And the last section I want to talk about is K-beauty. Now, I'm not a huge K-beauty person, but I am interested in K-beauty. But for those of you that are very into K-beauty, this is an absolutely massive industry. And you won't believe how many companies want foreigners, especially women actually, um, to promote their brands. So you will get tons of opportunities to um, promote and to review k-beauty products so if you are into k-beauty and you want to try new products i highly recommend you contact you know the various companies or they may even contact you via your social media if they see you are very active about promoting k-beauty and they will give you lots and lots of free amazing k-beauty products um, in return and in exchange for promoting them and reviewing them online and the last opportunity I want to talk about, which is probably the biggest opportunity a foreigner can get in Korea, is ending up being in K-dramas, Netflix TV shows, and that kind of thing. Yes, believe it or not, there is a very strong possibility of you ending up in a K-drama or as an extra in some TV show. You may even end up in your own reality TV show. Who knows? This so so many possibilities here if you are a foreigner so i really want to encourage you all to you know shoot for the stars uh, whilst you are here and take advantage of all the amazing opportunities that they provide just for foreigners in south korea